So I just filmed the whole video doing this whole make tutorial. Realize that I didn't press record. Great job, Iron. Great job. Just an idiot. Okay, so this video is going to be things that I use almost every day in like my makeup collection sort of thing. Just like my top. There's a lot here. I can't. I don't think I can actually do a top blank. But this is just about what I use almost every day. There's a couple things that are just I use a lot. I carry around. I took, took, took a couple of things, things out of my purse that I use like walking around and stuff. But. So first we're going to start with this little top corner caddy right here. You can see it from the back. It's right here. So first we're going to start out and this is where I hold all of my most commonly used eyeliners. And so first I'm going to start I have two white eyeliners. One is for my inner corner and one is just little touch ups everywhere that I keep in my purse. Next is a black eyeliner, and these are all wet and wild. This is this is in black. This is in, I think it's actually in charcoal. This is just in white. Um, then I have a brown, wet and wild, and dark brown. And then I have this pink and wet and wild. I have to show you this color, cause oh my god, I use it actually as um a lip liner. I think it actually is a lip liner. Yeah, this is this is a lip liner. But oh um, that color. That pink. I use it with a very bright pink that I have, which is not in here because I use it don't use it that often. It is very commonly used. The next thing in the lip pink it's just a tiny palette that actually this is a very not very commonly used palette of mine. This is I got it actually got it when I was in dance. Um, this is what we had to use, this is how we had to use, or we didn't dance that day, or night, or whenever we were dancing. Um, but I, I brought this everywhere, I had to get two of these. This is the one I didn't use, because the other one, I hit pan every single one of them. But this one, you can see, is very lightly used. Here's the gray, well, the, like, reddish sort of color, the green, and then the champagne sort of color. This is champagne, green, right, and it was a it's a camouflage color palette, which is we had the army green sort of like pants and stuff. But that one was huge. So yeah, I'm gonna slowly put stuff back because I don't want to crowd up my desk. Okay, next we're gonna skip the brushes. And we're gonna go into this part right here with all the little caddy corners. So first we're going to start with the lipsticks and lip glosses. I only have two lipsticks. I'm going to start with those two. Um, but this is a very old lipstick. This is Maybelline New York Moisturizing Extreme in F30 360 Cherry Brown. And this color is amazing. I use this when I use a very nude eye and I do very bold lip. As you can tell, very bold. That's what I use. Then I have this one, which you guys see me use all the time. This is 315 Precious. I actually got a new one. I'm so excited because you can see it's not very much used. But this is the Precious. It's sort of a pinkish plum color. It's very light compared to that. So those are it for lipsticks. I still have one, two, three, four, five, six lip glosses. Yeah, these are six lip glosses that I used. These two I keep in my purse. This one I've been using, trying to use up as you can tell. I'm around here, considering I got it like two weeks ago. I'm doing very well. But this one is the Icing Exfoliating Lip Scrub. This is actually a lip scrub. This is a lip gloss. And it's in Peaches and Cream. This is the lip gloss in... There's no color on it. That's difficult. Okay, then I have my Broadway Shine Lip Gloss in 25 Sexy Fever. Fapper. Fieper, Fieper, I don't know, F-I-A-P-P-E-R, Fieper, Fapper, I don't know. 
looks like that, and it's honestly just a red that I wear over red lipstick, because just, it's pretty much like a stain, because it'll just stain my lips red when I do bold lipsticks. Then these are my two favorite, I keep buying these, and these are the Stay Glossy Lipsticks. These don't have numbers, at least I've tried to look for them, and can't find, oh this one does. This is in 360 yours forever, and this is very, it's like a deep red. And this one doesn't have a name number. They're very, very close in color. This one is the top one right here, which I use over this color, as you can tell. They're very close somewhere, and this one is that one. Okay, last one is the Minty Kiss Cinnamon Lip Shimmer. This is very old. It's almost gone. That's, I think, about right there, sort of. Which, lip glosses take me forever to go through. No idea why. I think it takes everyone to forever to go through. It just does. I'm trying to put everything back as I go. Okay, next are just little things that I couldn't fit anywhere else. And, okay, so. First, I'm going to start out with, this is the Maybelline Great Lashes. This is the waterproof. Just, just mascara. I'm falling, so then I have my brows. That is the um CoverGirl. Then I have the Lash Blast Volume CoverGirl mascara. I can open it. I can never open this bottle. No, it's not my favorite mascara. I use this mostly just as like a touch up. This is what I keep in my purse. I'll just grab and use just to do touch ups like pink class and stuff. I do it all the time. I don't know if I'm the only one who actually does that, but I do. Okay, then I have my CoverGirl Basic Gorgeous Concealer in Fairclare. Okay, now to this back pocket right here, which is only three things in it, and one of them is my um, Cover All Press Powder in Fairclare. I think it's back in here. I'm having so many difficulties today. And I have floss. Don't know why. And I have Q-tips. I'm knocking them all out. I'm just going to dump them everywhere. Okay, then we go on to this big section right here, which is move my big stuff. Or from just front to back. So first, the first two things I see are these two mini shadows that I use. This is the Wet n Wild in Cream Brel. I can speak French. <laughs> Now it's also taking French, so this is a very champagne. It's very, it's pretty pigmented for a very cheap drugstore thing. This is um, it went wild and sugar. This is what I use on the inner corners. It's just very brightening in the eyes, which is what I love because I'm not a very light person in the morning. And this is my all May. I actually don't even use this as eyes. I use this as bronzer. Bronzer today. Okay, then there's my secret mini deodorant. Also, I keep in my purse. I'm kind of flying through this now because I kind of got really bored. Okay. <laughs> Honesty. Great. This is my next jumbo eye pencil in 225 sparkly, Sparkle Nude. And again, I'll swatch this. It's very champagne y can't really see it. I have tons of swatches on my hand. Very golden metallic sort of color. Then I have my beauty blender, which is also sort of a brush. Kind of uh, my pencil, my eyeliner sharpener. I'm actually gonna empty out as I'm thinking about it. I'm not gonna remember to empty that after. Then I have my Rimmel London Last Finish 25 Hour Foundation 100 Ivory. This is actually my summer color, which is still really, really, really light. Um, for like most people. But this is actually my summer color when I actually get slightly tan. Or I just use this on my cheeks if I'm too lazy to put on bronzer that day. Which works exactly the same. So, whatever. This is my winter slash spring slash fall slash normal foundation. This is the Maybelline Fit Me in matte porcelain and because I'm too lazy sometimes just put on foundation I'm around maybe here 
which I still have a long way to go. So, yeah, I don't think I can actually tell how much I have in here. I just look down. Nope, because it's all dark. So, I'm going to attempt because no, it's too late for that. Oh, if you guys are wondering what time it is here, it is 12 13 in the morning. Technically. Okay. Now we're going to move on to my brushes back here. These are all, I, I got all of them. In fact, like 34 for like $30. So these are all the ones I commonly use. So I have my angled blush brush, my crease brush, my lash, lash fan, my mascara brush, which I use for my eyebrows, my powder brush, I think that's called powder brush, my chisel fluff, which I use it just for anything, my duo fiber blender, and my bronzer brush, blush, brush, blush, and this tiny brush, which I don't even know where I got it from, but I love it as inner corner detail. So yeah, and there are a couple other things that are just random that I use normally on a daily basis. And one of them are my sunglasses. Actually, these aren't actually mine. These are my friends, but I stole them. And these are, they have little anchors on the side. They're really cute, and they're comfy, and they don't slide off my face like some sunglasses do. So I really like these. That I use on a normal daily basis. Then I have my two things. I should double up on things, because this one's great for smell, this one's great for sweat, and this one sucks for sweat, and this one sucks for smell. So I use these together and it works perfectly. Oh. And this was the Suave 24 hour protection. And this is the Secrets Paris Romantic Rose. I'm just very difficult to. I'm just. I'm about to film. I have like two three videos to film. They're all coming up tonight because I have to, or I'm just not going to remember. Okay. Then I have my Red Redkins Fifth Avenue New York City Volumizing Spray. It's a shape well. This is what I do to get my baby hairs down, which I'm using for this one. It's honestly just sort of a mousse, I guess. I just rub it in, or I use a comb to fluff it out, and I use it to keep my bun intact with each other, which doesn't really work out too well sometimes, but eh. It's at least worth a try. So this I use every day to keep my baby hairs intact and in sync. Then is my sh then I use my straightener, which is in my Infinity by Knar Connor Connor Connor. Okay, then I have my Studio 35 Beauty Cleansing Towel Let's Wet Facial Wipes, Deep Cleansing, Gentle Removing Makeup, Hydrogen Genetic and Dermatology Tested. Helps hydrate and moisturize skin compared to pound version all day care. <sighs> Fifteen of them. I found all one breath. I am very proud of myself. Then I have my top favorite. This is my jar. This I'm making a whole video just about my jar, which is sorta of sad. But I use this jar for everything. I drink out of it. It's awesome. It's actually not, I have two different jars, but this one's the one I keep in my bedroom. But I'm making a whole video on the one I drink out of and where I take everywhere and just some recipes that I use for it. But making that, especially I've already filmed it, I just gotta edit it and put it together. So yeah. That should be coming up. <sighs> Make sure you give me a big thumbs up and subscribe. Bye guys.